What is going on, my triggers? Welcome back to more Let's Play Chrono Ninja. Um, am I the only one that thought that, like, there should be, like, something, like, here? It, like, lets you go, like, up into this, like, mountain. And it kind of looks like there's, like, a trail, like, going up into it. I remember as a kid, I was like, am I just, like, not standing in the right spot? It feels like there should be, like, a thing up there, but there is not. Also, I was looking at the, uh, like, at this, like, world map or whatever. And around the entire, like, perimeter or whatever, there's, like, this, like, thing where you could, like, slide down. And it's just, like, a beach. Um, also, uh, did it say to go to, uh, did it say to visit Melchior? We're just gonna, it would just be to say hi, right? We're not actually, like, not doing anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that we are supposed to, uh, actually go, uh, talk to, to Melchior. Yes, I'm one of the people that called him Melchior for, like, way too long. Well, I don't know, man. Like, when I was a kid, you see... You see the word Mel and the word choir, like, side by side. Why would you not think it's Mel Choir? And it wasn't until I was, like, well into adulthood that I started watching, like, Let's Plays and saw someone... I saw people start calling him Melchior. I'm like, Melchior? That can't be right. Like, why would you pronounce it that way? Oh, he's just, uh, uh he's just a store. Okay, cool. I was just like, why would you, why would you pronounce it that way? Like, Melchior? It just sounds, like, so, like, weird and, like, gay. Like, Melchior. Like, mm, hello, I'm Sven, and this is my partner, Melchior. It's like, jeez. Um. Okay. Uh. I have enough money for one Titan vest. Why am I so poor? Oh, the Midtonics are actually only 100. Um. Oh, man. Uh. I kind of want to buy a couple, but it's like, well, I also need to buy probably at least one of these so I can survive this cave. Uh, who do I have with me? I have... Okay. I should, uh... I should take the Titan Vest off a of Robo and give it to someone else. And then, uh... Then maybe I'll buy one more from Marl. Since Chrono's defense is like higher. Oh man, but I gotta miss out on all the weapons. I'm gonna be like two stages of like weapons like behind. Well, I guess I already am. Well, we're gonna be using magic in this cave. So I'll go ahead and do it. You know, actually I could buy two. Or I could buy one and I could buy a bunch of uh uh, mid tonics. Actually, you know what? I'll use this cave to burn off the rest of my regular tonics just to stay topped off. I'll buy one more of these. I'll buy a couple mid tonics in case of like an emergency. Oh man, we're really like scraping by with money. I don't know. That actually kind of makes it like interesting having to like actually like decide what to buy with like your limited money. Should you desire to return to Truce Village, use the shortcut through the cave in the mountains to the north. Okay. I was about to say, like, why would it not let me, like, move? I was like, am I missing the doorway? Okay, so to the Hecran Cave we go. Did I equip the thingies? I did. Okay, just checking. Oh, man. We're still rocking the Steel Saber? Like, Jesus, man. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, oh, God damn it! I, huh. I'm telling you, man. I gotta, like, get into, like, don't open chests, like, mode. But I'm, like, like, Chrono is, like, two weapons, like, behind now. Uh, you want to take out the jar first, I think, right? Doesn't the, uh, the jar thing, uh... Does it, like, heal? Actually, not entirely sure. Do physical attacks work on, like, some of the enemies, just not all of them? Because I've only got two shelters... Yeah, see, that works just fine. Oh my god. And, Lu and Luca's, like, still got the, uh, like, the second gun in the game. Man, all my guys are, like, super weak sauce. In a way, it's kind of cool. It makes it, like, more interesting. I was gonna mention this in the, in the other episode, but I forgot. Um, this actually... I know I said at the beginning that I was, like, really, like, burned out from this game. And while that is true, like, I've actually been having, like, more fun with this, like, playthrough than I thought I was going to, to be honest. 
Like, there's already been, like, more, like, unexpected things that, like, happened. Like, getting, like, the freaking game overs and, like, not being able to, like, afford stuff. And having to, like, actually, like, pay attention to the fights. Uh, not these fights, but, you know, like, the bosses or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I guess that Guardian fight actually wasn't that hard. When I, when I redid it off camera, when I loaded the save state, uh, I got it on, like, the... I almost two-cycled it. It was, like, one or two attacks on, like, the third cycle. So when, like, uh, I was almost able to kill him in, like, two cycles. So it was actually pretty easy to do, like, off camera. I was like, boy, it sure is a lot easier to do when you're not, not, like, talking. When you can just, like, fully, like, commit your attention to it. Oh, man. I got freaking blinded. I do think that there should have been, like, more, um... Like, there's, like, the status thingies should play, like, a bigger role in this game, I think. Like, you hardly get blinded at all in the entire game. And same with, like, Poison and, like... I think Confuse is probably, like, the worst uh, status in the game. I mean, Lock also sucks. But you don't get locked, like, very often. Okay, so this is a... Okay, so this is a Use Magic On guy. So the only times you get locked are, like, when you fight those, like, rock things on, uh, on Mount Woe. And then when you fight those, like, uh, those, like, eyeball dudes in the, uh, like, Ocean Palace or whatever. But then those are, those are sort of, uh, those are sort of, like, um, like, metal slime fights. And then, like, they're also, like, super, like, hard to hit. But then you, like, get something. I know the rock, uh, dudes give you, like, 100 tech points. I forget what the other guys give you. They give you something good, I think, right? Oops, I didn't mean to do that one, uh, other one. Okay, I also don't remember uh, which way to go. This is a treasure, I think. It's just a magic scarf in that chest, I think. We well, know there is a fight. I do have a boss. Or, like, there is a boss at the end of this. So we'll just go ahead and do this fight. Is this the only place in the game where you see these guys? It is kind of like a cool sound effect. Where it goes... -ling -ling. I feel like that ka-ching could have been like a little bit more... Like had like a little more like impact to it. But it's fine. I guess it does uh, sound more icy the way it is. But then like sometimes ice... Has like a like a kuchum, kuchum. it's more like like crunchy you know like ice too has a really like crunchy uh sound to it oh i also forgot that i learned antipode we'll probably be using antipode on the boss if uh if i don't need to uh if i ever get a chance where i don't have to heal you know, i could save one mp by using flame toss i wonder if it'll be strong enough to kill these guys though Oh man, yeah, by the way, that inspection was, uh, yesterday. Frickin', uh, they said it was gonna be between, like, what was it, 9.30 and 1.30? It was not strong enough. We could probably, yeah, we can finish this guy with regular attacks. So luckily, like, I, I thought ahead, and, uh, I cleaned my apartment, like, the day, like, prior. I did do, like, I did, like, tidy up my room, uh, the day of or whatever, but I made sure to be done by 9.30, because, like, I've played enough video games to know that, like, anybody that plays video games eventually learns that they have, like, the worst luck in the world. So, like, you need to, uh, like, accommodate for that. Like, it, like, I feel like if you live life as if you have the worst luck in the world, then you, will, like, won't get caught with, with, like, your pants down. You won't get, like, caught off guard by, like, stuff that life throws at you. So, like, for example, if you're, like, well, you know, if, like, something's gonna go wrong with my cars, so, like... You know, if I let my money, like, get too low, then I know that that's exactly when something's gonna go wrong with my car. So I always need to keep lots of money in my bank account. That way, like, I can, uh, just pay it if something, uh, like, happens. It's like, well, if you're expecting something to go wrong with your car, so you keep money in the bank, because you know that, like, if you don't, then something bad is gonna happen at, like, the worst possible time, then you're overall, like, better off.
So it so it kind of like led to uh, it kind of like led to like avoid things that are like sort of like luck based. You can sort of like uh, like prevent certain things from like happening. Like for example, I could have easily said, well, they said from 9:30 to 1:30, and I'm on the third floor, so it'll take them a while to get up to me. But then if I thought that, then for some magical reason, they would just start on the third floor. Like they would be like at my door if I like didn't clean. Then they would like knock on my door at, like at 9:27 and be like, "Oh, we're just a couple minutes early or whatever." And we just started at the third floor because who fucking knows why or whatever. But in that scenario, I would have been like totally like caught with my pants down. But then, as it turns out, they actually didn't show up until like 1:40. So I'm sitting here in like wait mode, where I'm just like waiting for them to show up. And I'm like, well, I guess I could. Like, I didn't want to play a video game. I was like, well, I'll just sit here and, like, watch Star Trek. So I watched a bunch of episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. And then finally, at, like, 1.40, they showed up. And it was kind of funny. Uh, they said it was for... They said it was for, like, maintenance. To, like, check for leaks. But I had a feeling that it was also going to be to, like, uh... To check to make sure that they weren't, like, turning the place into, like, a pigsty or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it turns out I was right. Um, yeah, I guess we have one more screen. There's probably, I'm pretty sure there's a save point before the boss. But, uh, yeah, so I was expecting, like, the maintenance guy, and there's this, like, appre apprentice, like, maintenance guy, so I was expecting, like, them to come along. But, like, it was, like, four people. It was, it was the maintenance guy, the maintenance guy is, like, apprentice or assistant or whatever, and then, like, the building manager, like, the, she's not really, like, the landlord, she's, she's, like, the on-site manager, I guess. Like, and then there's, like, the, uh, the main actual, like, landlord person, and they're, like, an hour away. So they have this, like, on-site building manager to, it's, it's like a, um, like an intermediary in case there's, like, some kind of issue that she could hopefully, like, solve it before having to, like, bother the boss or whatever, you know? So it's, like, all four of them. So they just, like, I'm, like, okay, come on in, you know? And I shook hands with, uh, I knew the building manager and the regular maintenance guy, so I shook hands with the other two people. And man, it was so weird. This, um, this, like, maintenance assistant guy or whatever, uh, like, he shook my hand, and he was, like, he was, like, a big dude. Like, he wasn't, like, he wasn't, like, like, giant and fat, but he was, like, a rather, like, largish dude or whatever. A big dude. And this freaking dude shook my hand, and this was, like, I swear to God, this was, like, the pussiest handshake I've ever gotten in my you know what it wasn't it was the second it was the second pussiest handshake I've ever gotten in my life and it was just so weird getting such a wimpy handshake from this like big dude or whatever yeah I'll never forget the like the worst or like the wimpiest handshake I ever got I guess like it, like a handshake is supposed to be like firm so I guess it is correct to say that it was uh like not good or whatever you know what I should just use uh a shelter. Yeah, I forget who it was. But imagine, like, like the dude like stuck his hand out, and like it like extend your it, like if you extend your arm out and extend your hand out to give someone a handshake, and then relax your hand entirely, and then bend your elbow like downwards, and then that's exactly you know what? Let me say it again since I healed. Like, I'm not anticipating that I'm going to die. Basically, the trick to this fight is when, he's, when he goes, go on and attack, you have to just, like, not attack while he has a counterattack phase. Death to the mystic scissors enemies. Okay. And then he shook my hand, and he, like, did not move his hand at all. Like, he did not, he did not like, grasp my hand, like, at all. Like, while doing it. Like, he, he kept his hand, like, 100%. Like, he kept, like, his, his fingers, like, 100% limp. And it felt like shaking like a prosthetic arm. I'm just like, is this is this, is this like a fake hand? Is that why it didn't like make any attempt to even like to like grip my hand like at all? Like it was so weird. But uh, they all came in and there was like three like there was three like minor things. Well, I had to preface it by saying that like I was like there's like a couple of like minor things that I didn't think that on their own each like warranted like someone like coming up the stairs to fix but I figured since y'all were coming anyway I could like mention them now or whatever because then otherwise it'd be like 
Uh, because otherwise he'd be like, well, why... Oh, it said brief counterattack break. I thought that meant that I was good to attack. Oh, it did. Okay. Uh, let's just stay on top of it. I'm not sure, because I'm underleveled, I'm not sure if I ever get hit with a water wave. I'm not sure if, if uh, that'll, like, I know it, I know it, it, like, hurts a lot when you're at, like, max uh, defense or whatever. Actually, my defense is, like, semi-okay. Let's just stay at a good amount of HP. So there was one where, like, one of the, like, the drunk, the drunk drawer, part of the, uh, like, one side of it, like, there's, like, a slot that goes, like, into the, that, like, fits into the wood or whatever. And it just, like, popped out, and then for some reason, it's, like, too wide to, like, fit back in. So, like, one side of the, of, like, the panel or whatever, of the drawer, I don't know what it's called. The part that prevents you from being dis able to see, like, inside the drawer, you know? Uh, when it's, like, closed. Like, what's that, what's that called? Yeah, I don't know. Um... So there was that, and then, like, in the bathroom, one of the, uh, like, one side of the part where, like, oh, what's it called? What's that, like, that, like, metal, like, strip that, like, separates, like, the hard floor from, like, the carpet? But, like, one side of that started to, like, come off the ground a little bit, so that probably just needs to be, like, super glued back down to the ground. And then in the bathtub, there's a couple of, like, I didn't notice this until the other day when I started, like, uh, like, when I was, like, cleaning the bathtub. Uh... Uh, there was, uh, there was, like, a hole that was, like, there was, like, a couple of, like, small, like, tiny, like, holes that were, like, developing. Yeah, it's soon Aura World. Oh, I forgot to use Antipode. I said I was gonna do that and then totally forgot. Okay, I didn't see if it said Brief Counter-Attack Break. I gotta remember that. Oh, there we go. That we're on active. I'm pretty sure Antipode will do, like, We'll do like 400 or something. It'll do like a crazy amount, I think, right? So it'll probably be enough damage where it's worth like waiting for. I'll just have to hope that they don't kill Chrono. Okay, Luca's good on HP. She can take the hit. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because now I have to wait for Marl to charge up again. This will probably kill him though. But actually didn't do as much as I thought. Okay, well, if he's not going to attack, I'll be able to uh, heal, which is nice. So that worked out. There were these, like, small holes in the, uh, what do they call it, ceramic or whatever? Like, I don't know, like, what's the bathtub made out of? That, like, thing that they put in apartments? Where it's, like, one piece, and it's, like, the tub, and then also, like, the side. It, like, goes, like, up the wall. I forget what that's called. I was, about, I was just about to say, like, he's got to be dead, like, pretty soon. So the hole doesn't like go all the way through yet, so I'm guessing that, uh, I'm guessing that, uh, I wonder why he takes that pose when he dies. I always thought that was kind of weird. Like, I have to, like, put my arm in front of my face in order to, like, die a proper death. In the Middle Ages, Magus created Lavos, the destroyer of this planet's future. If you go to the Middle Ages and take out Magus, can we change history? We could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Alrighty. Jump in? Sure. It took me a while to realize that you can actually go back. I don't think there's ever, like, a real purpose of going back. But the tile that you have to stand on is, like, not marked. You have to stand on this, like, specific tile. Right here, where these two trees are. You can jump back in. Um, okay, so let's, uh... Let's, uh, go back. We actually haven't been home this entire game. Uh, let's take a nap first. My mom is, like, worrying about me. But she can worry just a little bit longer. I'm tired, man. I need to take a nap. You can worry for, like, eight more hours. Like, you'll be fine. Chrono! Chrono, you had me so worried. I hear you were... I heard you were to be executed, dear. Stop scaring me like that. Okay. Oh, okay. There's, like, a little, uh... A scene where you introduce your friends to your mom. I always thought that was like kind of nice. Nice little like thing that they added that they didn't have to add. Why? How nice! I've only seen you with Luca. Who's your pretty new friend? Oh, you know, just the side bitch. 
Hi, I'm Marl. Hey, Marl? I'm sure I've seen you uh, before, dear. Now, where was that? You have to leave and do it again? No, you do not. Hi! Luca, we hardly see you these days. That's because she's had her face, like, buried in my dick. I've been kind of busy, burying my face in Chrono's dick. Uh, don't let life pass you by, dear, and say hi to your parents. Ugh. Okay, uh, save. We did a boss, so we should be a good. Let's play her and save. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, now what? It said to use the, uh, portal at the fairgrounds, but I thought we had the, um... I thought we had to do the, um... Like the Xenon bridge battle or whatever. I thought that was next. Oh, maybe that's in 600. Maybe we have to go back to 600 and then do it. Oh yeah, because that's where they're all like knights and stuff. They're not like soldiers in like regular uniforms. Uh, so anyway, so I'm guessing that they could just take some sort of like, like cement in a tube. And just like paste it over it and like smooth it out or whatever. So it was funny. So I was in the bathroom like showing them those things. And then while I'm in there, I didn't see who it was. But uh, like, like I live in a three bedroom. And like two of the doors were like closed of the rooms that are not in use. But like I left my door open just because I thought it would be like, it, like, it looks like obvious if you if I were to just like close my door, then I guess they would have to like open the door. It's it seems like it's like crossing a boundary sorta. But I you know I didn't think anything of it. I just left my door open. But I'm just like in the bathroom, showing the maintenance guy the holes or whatever. And then like I just like see a person like in my room just like standing like in the middle of it. But I only like saw like the like the feet or whatever. I didn't like I didn't see like which person it was. It's like well, I made sure that it was in a in a condition that could be like viewable or whatever. I don't know. It's it's one of those things. If they would have just been like, like like if it would have just been like, hey, is it okay if we uh we're gonna take a look around? Just want to give you a heads up that we're gonna be that we're just gonna check around, make sure there's nothing cray cray going on. Like I would have respected that more. Than them just like sneaking in when they think I'm like not looking, you know. And also one of the bedrooms, they like left the door like cracked. So they did open the other doors too. Which is totally fine. I'm not saying it's not fine. I'm just saying like like I would have preferred if they would have been like up front. Be like, okay, we're doing an inspection. We gotta make sure there's no like dead bodies or you know, like make sure you're not like don't have like a, a weed growing operation going on here, you know. No, but just the fact that they were, like, trying to be, like, sly about it. Just kind of, like, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of torn. I mean, like I said, it did kind of, like, rub me the wrong way. But, like, I had a feeling they would do it. So, it's not like it was unexpected. Okay, so I actually don't know. Do you actually have to go down here to, uh... Yeah, see, so you can't pass here now. I'm actually not sure if you have to talk to someone to, like, activate the next thing. Our rations have run out. Have the supplies from Guardia Castle arrived yet? Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if you have to do that. But uh, maybe you do. I'm pretty sure the first time I played this, I got, like, stuck here. I forget which step I got stuck on. But I remember this taking, like, a while. I remember getting snagged at this part. Just because, like, the part of, like, having to, like, figure out to, uh, to talk to the chef. Like, why would you think to talk to the chef? Or, like, the cook guy or whatever. What? My brother? He's... That's what you get for thinking that you're the only ones fighting for your country. Hey! Stop bickering! Grow up! Pipe down! What do you know? Hey, hey! Come on now! Okay, does he call you back? Huh. Maybe this is what happened. Okay, so he does not give you the rations. I know he's going to. Oh, he, uh, he catches you as you're leaving. Right? Yeah, okay. Take this with you. Okay. One jerky. Okay, should be enough to satisfy the hunger of, like, several men. And tell that fool. He'd better come back alive. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. When it comes to, like, service... Like... Like, being, like, a chef... 
and like providing food like yes it is important but your risk of dying is like much lower than actually being on the front line so I do think that there, that's like some kind of like distinction like should be made so I don't think that like like all service or whatever like is noble but I do think that there are like tiers of the nobleness or whatever you know like I guess I'll use my dad as an example my dad my dad served 26 years in the Air Force but it's like well he was just a, he was basically just like he worked in the clinic at like the air, like at the Air Force base like he was he was essentially just like a paper pusher like he didn't do anything like crazy like he wasn't like a doctor and he was like like he worked at the clinic but it wasn't like a clinic that was like in like a war zone so I think when um so like when when someone were to, were to hear that he served in the Air Force and he worked in the clinic it made it seem like he was like stitching people up or like putting people's like arms back on and stuff or like trying to save lives and stuff you know but basically like he was it was like the clinic that was like on the Air Force base or when like or when like the kids of the um the person serving or like the wife or whatever of the person serving got sick or whatever then like then they would go to the on base clinic or whatever uh Sir Crono, if I do not make it back, give my brother my thanks. Oh, well, you're not gonna die. You're not a little bitch like this other guy that's about to get like killed in one stab. Like what's even the point of the armor? Magus's troops have launched an attack. Uh they're breaking through our defenses. Stop sniveling. It shames the knights of the square table. We shall destroy Magus's troops and bring honor to our king. Oh yes, get stabbed one time and die. Bring that honor to that king, right? But we are far outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. We must let no one through. Understood. All right. I'll get right on dying. All right. Uh, am I healed, by the way? Uh, we good. All right. So when it comes to, like, service, I don't know. I think people get, like, the wrong idea. Like, yes, what my dad did, like, was important. But in terms of, like... But, you know, like, in terms of, uh... I mean, you, you know what I'm getting at, right? I'm just, like, repeating myself at this point. Okay, can you actually attack Ozzy? You can. What happens if you attack Ozzy first? But, uh, yeah, I guess just, like... Ozzy's spell is broken. Oh. Oh, all right. Those wimps are... Oh my god, they did the apostrophe RE again. Those wimps are stronger than I thought. I thought this scene was, like, kind of cool. Wait up already. Seems I misjudged you, but I won't do that twice. Why is there a giant space between the J and the S in misjudge? That's kind of cool how he raises the, the human dead soldiers. And then they end up fighting for him. Yeah, but like I'm assuming I made my point, right? Like you get what I'm you get my point, right? Oh yeah, to use magic on these guys. Did I still get full experience? Well they still died when I when I attacked Ozzy, I think, right? I don't know, I'm pretty sure like most people's gaming instinct is to like take out like the minions first, not the main guy. Not realizing that when you kill the main guy, that the minions die. Oh yeah, it looks like I got full full stuff, maybe. I haven't been paying attention to how much experience I've been getting, so I, like I don't know if 144 is like a good amount. That's it, now you're finished. Don't mess with Chrono, you'll be really sorry. Or you'll really be sorry. Whatever. But uh, yeah, so I guess like overall, like my point was that if you tell someone that like, oh yeah, I served 26 years in the Air Force working in the clinic. Versus what he actually did. Like, it's, like, two completely, like, different things. Like, the idea that someone gets in their mind, like, the picture that they get in their mind versus what actually happened are, like, two, like, vastly different things. Oh, yeah, I forgot Antipode does, uh, have, like, some AoE. Actually, not sure if it'll, uh, hurt both of them, but... You know, I actually don't know how, uh... How, like, elemental thingies work with uh with this game or whatever 
Like, if it absorbs fire and is weak to ice, if you use fire and ice, then, like, what would it do? Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure you actually do have to kill both sections, I think. Pretty sure if you kill the legs, then the top half will just, like, float there. Okay, so we'll use, uh, I wonder if it's, we'll just focus fire on the, uh, on the top section, I guess. But after I showed him the things or whatever, the bees, he was like out of my room. So I just went down and and just like put Star Trek back on. I don't know. I wanted to make it seem like I wasn't like nervous about them being there. So I just like sat down in my room and just like, and just like kept, I just like hit play or whatever. Just resumed uh, watching Star Trek or whatever. And after a few minutes, they're like, all right, we're leaving. I was like, all right, see ya. That was it. Yeah, I don't know. I think it would have looked more suspicious if I had been, like, following them around. Because then it would have made it look like like I didn't want them to, like, look in certain places or something. I don't know. Versus if I just, like, was not even, like, around them. Like, it, it made it seem like I didn't care, like, what they were looking at because I had, like, nothing to hide. Oh my gosh. I actually died. Oops. Oh, and Corona's dead, too. I was like, oh, I accidentally used it on... Uh, on someone else. I didn't even notice that Chrono was dead, too. Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess I'll do, like, one... I'll do one more, like, focused attempt, since I'm probably gonna die here. Oh, man, he actually lived. Let's see if I can actually pull out a victory. Probably just need to do another Aura Whirl. Just gotta hope that Marl doesn't get killed. Alright, piece of cake. I wonder if there was a store. Yeah, I guess there was a store. I should have bought some items when I came to this uh, era or whatever. Wait, Luca's actually, like, useless. I guess I could have her attack the bottom. Get some damage going on the bottom half, I suppose. I guess I could have her, like, using tonics or something. That way Marl can, uh, keep using ice. Alright, we, uh, we defeated that one. Uh, I don't know what works on the bottom one. I haven't tested it. There's a pellet swap of this boss later. That, uh... He does this weird move where he sort of, like, eats you with his pelvis. And it does, like, a fuckload of damage. Like, what the hell is he actually doing? He just, like, engulfs you with his, with his like, legs or pelvis or whatever. Like, the bottom half, like, engulfs you. And he just, like... Uh, then he just like kind of like crunches you around and it does like tons of damage. Like what is he actually doing? I wonder Okay, I actually didn't see if fire did any damage. I should have paid attention uh, Fire's good. All right, cool and I guess chronos on attack slash tonic duty All right, pretty sure we got this, and then we'll end it.
Oh wait, did that heal him? Should I not be healing? Did I have Marl on uh, heal duty? All right, that's fine. Oh man, oh my God. Bro, calm your nuts, dude. Okay, well that just extended how long this battle is gonna take. I didn't know he had that move, what the heck? Okay, I do have those have those couple of uh, mid tonics. If things get dicey. Like what was that? Like how did he pinch me between the legs and then also like fly up? You would assume that he like jumped up. But if it, if it, like if he has someone pinch between the legs, how would he also like propel himself like off the ground? Oh, the answer is that he's magical, so it doesn't freaking matter. Yes, I know. Um Okay, so now we can go freely side to side. Okay, or to either side or whatever. Okay, so I actually don't know if there's like better stuff at uh, this like market. Like we're technically like further in the game, so maybe there's like better stuff here now. Yeah, that was, that was just an item shop. Let's see if there's a weapon shop. Maybe I can leapfrog over some of the uh, the things or whatever. I mean, I guess that's what I'm gonna end up doing eventually. I just gotta, like, uh, get to where my armor is, like, in a good place. Uh, before I feel comfortable, like, splurging on, like, weapons. Maybe I'll pass on, uh... Maybe I'll pass on some of the armor. So I can, uh... Oh my gosh. Oh, it's because, I was about to say, look how much that increases Robo. That's because I took off the, uh, Titan vest off of him. Oh man, this is only 700. Uh, I feel like I'm super overdue for a weapon. Let's go up and see what we got for weapons. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. Like, I gotta buy, like, something. I should buy, like, something. I'm not buying this dark gun. Oh, this is the same old crap. They didn't update the, uh, the store. Um. Wow, the dark gun is, like, still, like, better. Uh, okay. Was there a second, uh, store? I don't think there was a second store down here. Uh, maybe I should go back to the village of the... Oh, wait, no, not the village of the mystics. Oh, wait, no, it'd be Melchior. Maybe I should hit him up. See if he's got uh, something I can afford. I'm pretty sure there's no other stores. God dang it. Okay, well, let's hit up Melchior. I feel like I should buy something better for someone before we, like, get any further in the game. All right. Hello, Senor Melchior. 3,300... Um, okay, so I can buy, like, one freaking thing. I feel like I should probably get the plasma gun. That's such a big boost uh, for Miss Luca. I mean, like, the Robin bow is also, like, almost all my money, and that's only, like, seven. But this one's, like, 13. Uh, you know, or I could pump up Chrono. Oh, wait, I don't have enough money. Okay, whatever. Well, it makes the choice easy. It's always, like, the question. It's like, well, do you try to strengthen your weaknesses or do you strengthen your strengths, you know? Okay, long overdue for that bad boy. Jesus. Um, okay, so next time we'll, um... What are we gonna do next time? What's the, um... What's the thing? What's the thing after? Oh, we gotta hit up, uh, Froggy Boy, I think, right? I don't remember. We'll figure it out next time. So um, next time we'll figure it out and I will see you then. Thanks for watching and y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye.